Michelle Kiefer. And I'm Shauna. And, and we're, we're Thompson, Thompson Square. Square. And, and we're, we're married to the music. music. Alright, so we're going to show you guys a uh, few guitars we have up here and kind of a little story behind them. This is a uh, 1973 uh, Gutstring acoustic guitar. It was actually, I bought this from a studio where uh, Loretta Lynn cut Vandalier Rose. That's my favorite guitar of Kiefer's. So I went down to the ATM real quick and bought it from him. This is a, an old harmony guitar, which is... This is actually my dad's, uh, well, my brother's guitar. Um, that Kiefer really likes the sound of it. It's just a, a, a cheaper harmony guitar, but it's it sounds really nice. Because the strings are like 20 years old on it. That's why I like the sound of it. Um, and then this little guy here, this is the one that... This is Shauna's dad's banjo, and... Um, it's got a... Um, it needs a lot of work, so my dad let us bring it here to Nashville from uh, Alabama. To Shauna wasn't very excited Alabama. when I brought this home because she was afraid I would learn how to play it. <laughs> this guitar is probably my favorite one I have. Um, it's a newer Gibson, it's a historic edition, and this is a, a guitar that I bought without Shauna knowing. She noticed the headstock, the little yellow thing on the, on the back of the headstock here, and she was like, you bought a new guitar. She's like, what is that? This is a guitar that Shauna bought for me for my birthday one year. American Standard Telecaster. It originally had a different pick guard on it. It was a... Uh... No, no, that is the original pick guard. Oh, you bought, I, I bought another one. pearl one, right? Yeah, I put it back on there. And so that's, uh, that's one of my favorite guitars, too, maybe. This guitar is my first endorsed guitar that someone ever gave me. It's a CA Composite Acoustic. And uh, an airline I'll keep anonymous did a little number on us last week, so I've got duct tape holding. Had to resort to duct tape. I'm all, you know, duct tape fixes anything. This guitar is, um, I think I don't know, it's like a mid '80s, maybe 1990 model, Takamini. This is a guitar that um, a friend of mine named Gary, him and his buddy Hoot, used to sell this guitar back and forth to each other when they couldn't pay their bills, and. So they would sell it back and forth to each other for like $250. And uh, one time Gary was playing in a band with us down on Broadway when we were playing for tips. And, uh, and Gary says, man, he goes, I, I, need to, I need to sell this guitar. He said, that, and uh, who doesn't have any money right now, so would you be interested in buying it? And I was like, I, I can't just give you $250 for that, man. And uh, he said, well, if you don't buy it, someone else will. So to keep it kind of in the family, I went ahead and bought it. So. I, I want to keep that guitar. That guitar means a lot to me. That's a good friend of mine. And it's a Road Warrior, that guitar. Yeah, it's, a, it's, it's great a Road on the Warrior. Road. This is the first um, guitar that I ever bought myself with my own money. And uh, it's got Merle Haggard and George Jones signature on it. I gurmed them. And actually, the photo right below it actually proves that I did meet the hag. Um, this guitar here is a Martin guitar that I bought. Um, this fellow in this picture right here, his name is Alan. Alan Martin, and uh, it's a guy from uh, Victoria, British Columbia that saw me sing one time downtown and uh, gave me my first publishing deal. He actually started a company around me uh, over that, and, and about eight months into the relationship, he died of an enlarged heart, which is ironic because he did have a huge heart. So that's kind of all we have up here. Um, oh, actually, I got to do show you that. There's one more thing you need to see. If, if, if people always, you know, they're curious what my body looks like under the, <laughs> under my t-shirts, you know, because I usually have my shirt on when I perform. But this is actually what I do look like. Pretty accurate representation of what we look like with uh, in our in our in our swimming wear. So that's about it, guys, up here, and uh, thanks for coming by. But could you get the hell out of our house? It's fine. Baby, it's fine.